Hello folks, today we're going to talk about inconsistencies. Now I know I talk about um, healers, empaths and light workers. Now uh, empaths especially, well you could be all three, let's start with that, you could be all three. But if you've got high empathy then the odds are that your life is full of compromise. And so many empaths attract into their life um, narcissistic personalities, psychopathic personalities. And what's the difference? Well, a psychopath, well, they're quite often um, a high degree of CEOs of psychopaths. They will, um, they will do stuff for the good of the greater lot and there's collateral damage and that's quite often healers and empaths that are the collateral damage of psychopaths. A narcissist will put themselves at the center of their universe and they will do things just to t uh, cut away at your confidence. And it's very easy to get caught with these, especially empaths. And I've certainly been caught a few times, um, especially because most psychopaths and narcissists are good, have good people skills. So they can, um, they do a good job of pretending to be your best friend or to be your closest confidant. And one of the things that they'll do that will often come back to bite you is you'll tell them things about yourself when you're vulnerable and they'll use that against you to underpin your confidence or to, uh, to take away your confidence somewhere down the line. So what I see when I work with empaths who are in relationships with psychopaths or narcissists or just nasty people, let's call them. There's other words for these that don't have a clinical thing that uh, probably isn't appropriate for this video especially when my dad used to describe it to me but he was from Ireland and that's another conversation for another day but compromise is at the heart of everything they'll do and I especially women get caught mostly in this trap the women that I work with is that they're there to try and help everyone and in doing that they don't prioritize their own needs at all now, of course, there are men that do this as well, but it's mainly, it's a predominantly female trait from, from my experience of working with people here. That you, you'll compromise, you'll, you'll go away for the weekend to see the relatives of, of, of your partner, but they won't do the same for you. There's total hypocrisy, there's a, a lack of um, reciprocation here in the relationship, and this is quite common. And the only way that you can change that dynamic is to use the same behavior as your partner or the person that is perpetuating this. Now that's easier said than done and it's not for the faint hearted, but if you can do it, it will change your life. And we'll discuss how on another video.